Hello everybody, Bubbles Zest here, and this is Hearts of Iron 4. In today's video, we're going to be playing as Britain, and we are going to be getting the achievement, The Dragon Rises. All the while, we're maximising the shenanigans we're doing today. So, let's get started. We're not going to do a focus, we're just going to go up to speed 5, and begin. Okay, time for the next stage of the plan. As you can see, I've placed the entire Royal Navy in the Falklands Islands. And this is where our next trick comes in. We're going to grab all carriers, all battleships, all heavy cruisers, the Renown and the Repulse. Look at all these nice ships. Don't they look good? Well, don't get used to them, because they're gone. And when we unpause... As you can see, the naval treaties have expanded. We can now invite and warn so many other countries. But of course, there's only one country we're going to send a message to, and that's Argentina. What do you think they're going to say? Very sensible. They've committed to disarmament. While we're on the subject, they can also turn you down and refuse. Now, don't worry if this happens, but you do have to restart. But luckily, it's only February 36, you will be fine. In the meanwhile, we're going to do a change in course. And next up for our focuses, it's going to be Organise the Black Shirts. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It looks like France, the US, Italy and Japan have all declared on Argentina. Looks like someone didn't disarm in time. Oh dear. Oh well, we have a war goal too. Let's use it. Now, in the past, the Monroe Doctrine would have meant that the US would have been called in too, but because of the rework to the Monroe Doctrine recently, that's no longer the case. We can declare an Argentina, and no one else will get involved. Let's go. And by the way... Whoops. For this naval invasion, it's 9 individual naval invasions, but 2 units are going to Buenos Aires. And it looks like I forgot that I have to be at peace to do Organise the Black Shirts. Whatever, I can wait it out. Landfall is slightly contested. That's okay. We'll just send in all of our units and take them down. And since we now have over 100 political power, let's ban Communism. Let's try and encircle Buenos Aires, although this unit might fall first, hmm, come on, come on, just got it, nice. And by the way, I'm not going to invite the US or France to the Allies, it's not a good idea for what I have planned. And Buenos Aires is ours, let's head for the mountains. Well, Italy, you lasted a long time. Anyway, Argentina is down. Let's take the lot and take some of their ships. Thank you very much. Done. I'm sure America will be very happy with us making this new colony. Anyway, time for some construction. Just delete what we have already, and we are going to build two mills, a sieve, and some infrastructure. I don't expect the infrastructure to be done, but the factories, I do. Anyway, now let's finish Organise the Black Shirts. Alright, time for the next stage of the plan. Flipping Ideology. Now, in the past I've used the Quick Imperial Federation strat to flip quickly. However, I'm not going to be doing that today. I feel like there's no need to. However, if you want to, go ahead, be my guest, have some fun. In the meanwhile, I'm going to be saving some political power, because the last thing I want is a civil war. Looking at you, Spain. Let's go for our first march. London. Good. But let's make sure we do an anti-German speech. Our stability did take a pretty big hit there. Look at that, plus 25% stability a week. That's pretty nice. And already, we only need like one or two more decisions to flip. 
Hmm. I think Yorkshire should be okay. Nice. And we can now flip once we get enough political power. Nothing to complain about, which for Hoi 4 is high standards. And onwards to Downing Street. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Muesli. No, Mosley, Mosley. And all the provisional governments in the world. No, 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 no. They are not ready. They are not ready. Not ready, not ready, not ready, not ready, not ready, not ready. Not ready. Not ready. Uh, not ready. You get the idea. Just need to wait for this mill to finish and we can go. Bulgaria has no patience, but go ahead. Have your restrictions lifted. I'm feeling kind. And there we go. Time to release the Welsh. First Wales, not as a puppet. And now the Argentine Welsh, play as. And when we go all the way over here, there they are. Who's our leader? Not bad. Anyway. Let's do naval efforts for research, well it looks like standard electronics and industry to me. For our mills, just weapons I think. And yet again, speed 5 and begin. Great, we now have enough CP and PP to hire ourselves an army offence specialist. Anyway, for our next focus, political effort. And with these dockyards, we are going to build a sub. Yep, one sub. That's all we need. The rest is going to be convoys. Well, there's our handiwork. And thanks to this extra political power, we're going to hire ourselves the Communist Revolutionary. And immediately, we are going to prepare for civil war. We're not going to do focus for a while, we're going to need some extra political power. For example, we need to expand civil support. Bye-bye, stability. Anyway, 50 PP, let's ignite the flames of revolution again. Okay, let's train up a cavalry division. As soon as it's ready, we'll deploy it and run down the victory points. But still, we're not going to do a focus. If you don't have enough manpower to deploy a division, just make a small one of, like, two with. You'll be fine. Okay, 20%. Deploy. One of one. Wait a day. There's the org. Get going. And now, since we have enough political power, it's time to justify on Spain. I think we'll go for Madrid. Here's a little tip for you. Look for this modifier right here. Unplanned offensive. If the state you're justifying on does have this modifier, it's good to justify on. If it doesn't have it, it means it's quite easy for the nationalists to take it and cancel your justification. And you don't want that. Still though, I think I want some more political power, so still no focus. Come on, will that do it? No, looks like we're going to have to go to Ushalaya. Oh well. This can happen sometimes. Sometimes you don't have to, sometimes you do. But oh well, we start off with transport ships, so we'll just do it. No complaints. Let's put the little navy on strike force, and there we go. It's good to have, isn't it? Anyway, we have 35 XP, which means we can get ideological loyalty. That's right, the manpower factory. And there we go. Victory. But the situation is still precarious, there's still one thing we need to do. Since we have enough political power, I think we need to do another justification on the Welsh themselves. 315 days? Okay. For us now, we're just going to do industry focuses. And I'm going to train up 9 extra divisions of these little two whips. 10 divisions should be okay for what I'm thinking of for the moment. Of course, I put them on max priority, deploy them when they're ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should know the drill. Excuse me? 
Okay, this is weird. The, the Republicans have completely lost Madrid, but my justification is still going. It's even completed. Well, I can't complain. If this happens to you, congratulations. But most of the time, I'd assume you'd actually lose the war goal. Whatever, let's go. Immediately, let's get military access from the Nationalists. Oh, thank you. And now it's time to plan the naval invasion of Wales. This is going to be fairly simple. One unit to every tile on the coast. Should be fine. I don't expect the Welsh to have any divisions at all. Oh, what do you know? The Welsh only have six coastal tiles. Okay. We'll put the units in the other invasions as well. Should still work. A last stand in Malaga. Oh, I'm sure that happens every summer. Well, justification is ready. Let's go. Oh, looks like the Welsh have no divisions. Guess we're going to have to walk it in. I didn't even see them land. Whatever. You should get the achievement upon landfall. But if you don't, just take this state to be safe. But I'm going to puppet them, including rights and reps. Nice. Well, that was rather easy. Thought that would take longer. Yeah, it's barely been like, I want to say an hour maybe? And that's with me restarting a few times. Huh. I think we should probably do something else while we're here. I have the time. I have it. Let's go after the British. Time to justify on British Malaya. What? What are you looking at me for? I have an idea. I think we can do it. So, the UK has up to 418 divisions. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. Let's do this. And of course, call in the Welsh. I'm sure they'll be delighted. This should be a fair fight. Oh, look at that. We're just walking over them. <laughs> I've been lying to you guys. Before I switched over to the Welsh Argentinians, I sabotaged the UK's army. I changed it all over to anti-air. So this is going to be a complete cakewalk. Come on, I don't have all day. And there we go. Hmm, what should I do? I think it's time for Welsh Argentina to get some puppets. First up, Argentina. Rights and reps. While it would be funny to annex the entirety of the UK, there's no way for us to garrison it. So instead, let's just... Up it the lot, I think. Done. There we go. Welsh, Argentine, Argentina was puppeted, and Socialist Republic of Great Britain was puppeted. That was pretty fun. Yeah, I know, it was a little bit cheesy sabotaging the UK's army, but whatever. It's fun. But this is also where these extra templates came from. You know, the two whip cavalry and the two whip anti air. That's where they come from. Any templates from your overlord come with you, basically. Of course, I could have done it in so many other ways, but that's the beauty of this achievement. You can do it in so many ways. Maybe you can be a bit cheesy, do these things to get the UK down easily. Or maybe you can fight them straight up. The choice is yours. And so, until next time, everybody, I thank you for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. And until we meet again, from me, Bubbles Zest. Goodbye.